Hi, how's it going today? So I get a lot of questions about uh, finding a partner when uh, people call me about feng shui and energy. So I thought today I would teach you three things that you might be doing at home or at your office that are blocking love energy at home okay or or your office so if i say home just know that i mean this could be happening at your office as well um, so just the spaces that you spend a lot of time in those are the spaces that you should think of when i'm talking to you about this situation so um let's let's talk about love first of all so i googled the word love um you can google it, google it as well I'm just going to read to you some of the definitions that came up for the word love, okay? And it, an intense feeling and deep affection, okay? That's that's probably what you always think about when you think about love, right? It's your attachment to another person and how you feel bonded and close to them, right? So that's one definition of love. Another one is a great interest or passion in something. So like football, right? I love football or I love feng shui, right? So that is another example of love, okay? Then you feel a deep affection for somebody. This is another example. This could be like your best friend, right? Um, or your friends in general, you feel love for them, right? Um, and then finally, something that you like or enjoy very much, like um, I like to dance or I like to hike with friends, things like that. So those are some examples of the definition of love. So um, when I get calls on, on, on does feng shui, can feng shui help me get a relationship? or improve my relationships? My answer is yes, right? So um, how, what could you be doing? So let's talk about what could you be doing at home that is blocking your uh, love energy at home, okay? So um, the first thing that affects your love energy is dirty spaces, okay? So if your house or your office is dirty, then clean it, <laughs> okay? Now, I know that um, some of us don't use the entire areas of our house. Maybe we have an extra room or maybe the whole office isn't used. Um, so if that is the case and you have large spaces, what I would recommend is that you clean the spaces that you spend a lot of time in, okay? So, um, you know, especially your bedroom because that is a place of sleep and intimacy and to attract love, that space definitely 100% needs to be clean, okay? So um, clean your spaces, clean your office, clean your car, right? Because if you are back to work and you're driving to work, that is part of your energy. So we don't want your car to be dirty and uh, and block any any love energy that could be coming to you, okay? The next thing that I see um, when I'm consulting with people who are wanting more love is that they have they have a lot of artwork that depicts oneness or singleness, okay? One woman, one man, one bicycle in a piece of uh, artwork, you know, something, things that depict one or singleness. So, um, you know, I, when I help people for love, I tell them that they should decorate in pairs. Twos. Now, I know that is not the design standard. Design standard is odd numbers, one, three, five, etc. But we are talking about love and we are talking about energy and attracting 
love energy to your space. So we block it by depicting single things, okay? Not every single thing needs to be paired, okay? Um, you can take it that far. Uh, I do. I like it because I like to have great bonded pairs of relationships in my life. So um, everything in my house in the decor is pairs or even. So two, four, six, eight. Um, because like think about when you're interacting with somebody, when it's just the two of you, it's pretty easy, right? But if you bring a third person on to in part of the conversation or whatever you're doing, one person inevitably always feels a little left out because it's hard to have a conversation with three people, okay? So um, that's why when you decorate, you do pairs, okay? And very importantly, make sure you have pairs in your bedroom, even number of pillows on your bed, two nightstands, two lamps. Um, if you have artwork, make sure they depict pairs of things or two people, a man and a woman, a man and a man, a woman and a woman, whatever your love relationship desire is, that is the artwork that you should depict in your bedroom, okay? Um, if, if people aren't your thing for um, artwork, then you can do things like symbols, like two hearts uh, in a piece of artwork, or two Adirondack chairs, things like that, okay, in artwork. Two umbrellas on the beach, right? So pairs of things in your spaces, okay, because it's about connecting with each other, okay? And then finally, you could be blocking love energy at home by holding on to things from past relationships that should be let go of. Now, some of us have some very sentimental items that, that we may be keeping um, from past relationships. I suggest that you reevaluate that, right? If you're looking for a new relationship, it's time to let go of old relationships that you've moved on from, right? Um, so I see that as well. Like uh, I'll be in people's homes and, you know, I'll see something that'll catch my eye and I'll be like, oh, what's this from? And they'll say, oh, that was from my ex-girlfriend from 15 years ago. And, you know, okay, sweet. That is sweet. Uh, but why are you still hanging on to it? So if it's something that really, really means something to you, like maybe it was a, maybe it was a piece of jewelry that was gifted, um, you know, from another family member, that's really special. Like I wouldn't give that away. But if it's like a piece of artwork or, you know, something that was part of your relationship at the time, I would recommend moving it out. <laughs> Give it away, gift it away, donate it away, whatever you have to do to let go of that past energy of living in the past. You may not even see it all the time, but if it's in your space, it's in your heart. Okay. So... Uh, think about those things that you might be holding to because that definitely blocks new love energy, okay? So hopefully you learned something new. Uh, if you have and you enjoy it, um, I try to share tips all the time. I hope you will like and subscribe to my page. Um, share with your friends and please, if you have questions, reach out.